Welcome to Deep Space. Coordinates? Undisclosed. Date? Uncertain. Mission? Classified. You've emerged from hypersleep with no memories of anything, only the knowledge and skills necessary to perform your assigned tasks. Your own past life is as much a mystery to you as the ship that you now inhabit. The rest of the crew is no better off, wandering through empty corridors like wayward, discarded things. Movement teases at the very cusp of your vision, fleeing from your glancing eyes. An alarm wails, ripping your attention away from the torturous vacuum of your mind. There are no answers here. This is the place that questions go to die. Welcome aboard the Pillar of Salt. Security Officer's Log, Supplemental. So, I was digging through my kit locker in Stasis Compartment 7, just uh, packing my stuff into a duffel, you know, to move it to my quarters since, well, all of our Stasis Pod's refreezing systems were fried anyway by the stellar radiation that disabled our shields, scrambled half the ship's systems, and caused the things to wake us up in the first place. And I uh, found this neat little booklet. Uh, your standard issue RGD security equipment kit and you, an officer's guide to maintaining the safety and security of your crew by properly maintaining and utilizing your personal safety and security equipment. That's, uh, <laughs> that's quite the mouthful. <laughs> the title actually takes up almost the entire front cover, believe it or not. Um, but anyway, I thought that even though I already feel very familiar with my kit, it might still be a good idea to read through this little brick of a booklet and uh, see if it brings anything back. So, um, let's get started. All right, page one. Warning. This kit is to be issued to security officers only. Usage or possession of any component of this kit by individuals, collectives, or other miscellaneous entities other than officially assigned security officers is strictly prohibited under Section 53, Subsection Delta, Article 5 of the RGD Company Bylaws. Huh. So it's a corporate ship. There, see? Already learned something. How come you never supplied me with that little tidbit, computer? You never directly asked, Axel. Oh, well, um, next time I ask a question, out into the void, and you can answer it, why don't you just go ahead and answer it, then? I am programmed to answer questions directly addressed to me. Other than that, unaddressed queries are to be considered rhetorical. Based on the programmer's notes nested within the relevant section of my protocols, my creators found constant answering of rhetorical questions to be agitating, and modified my behavior parameters accordingly. I... what? Whatever. Where were we? Um... Morning... Get inside, you should... Usage... Prohibited... RGD Company Bylaws. There we are. Um, okay. Violation of the aforementioned bylaw may be considered a capital offense under RGD interstellar corporate law and may therefore be punished accordingly through methods including, but not limited to, confinement to quarters withholding or deduction of pay, withholding of ration allotment, confiscation of up to 30% of bodily fluids, and ejection into space via airlock. Well, hot damn, they, uh, they take that pretty seriously. Who, who the hell are these people, computer? Ruth and Gaylor Dynamics. Anything else I'm authorized to know about them? Any information you can give me? You know, fill in the blanks a little bit? Actually, you know, be helpful? Not at present, no. Well, screw you two, then. Anyway, let's skip to, um, I don't know, something interesting. Uh, uh there's, uh, Mark 7 magnetic boots. Mm, sheath knife, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, ah, the gun. Let's go with the gun. Uh, the gun. The gun sounds good. <clears throat> Your standard issue Worthen Electrokinetic Incursion and Insurrection Lethal Deterrence Unit, or We Killed You, for short. <laughs> we, 
we killed you. Yeah, it's right there. It has a pronunciation key and everything. That's that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. All righty then. Um, uh, or we killed you for short is a lethal weapon designed to induce fear in potential living threats within the confines of your assigned vessel. Should inducing fear be insufficient, the unit is also designed to induce death when used correctly. What? What the? Is this a joke? <laughs> anyway, um, the unit accepts only officially licensed RGD caseless slagger rounds loaded into the removable box magazine located in the handle. See diagram below for instructions on how to remove, load, and reinsert the magazine. Standard magazines can hold up to 30 self-contained caseless slagger rounds and are equipped with two high-output power cells. Each power cell will last for 30 shots on a single charge. Oh, crap. I gotta charge these things. Let's see. Um, uh, for charging. <laughs> into the wall unit and start jacking the carbon. At the power supply. Okay. All right, slide magazine into one of the three open slots on charging station until a click is heard as shown. Okay, blue light, let the magazine is shown. It means the power cells are charging. Green light indicates the power cells are fully charged. Flashing red light. It's faulty or damaged power cells. Okay, the little light is blinking uh, blue. So there, that's done. Uh, they're charging. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, where were we? Yeah, your We Killed You is a miniaturized coil gun that uses high-energy electrical pulses to generate a series of strong magnetic fields which accelerate the projectile to supersonic speeds before it exits the muzzle. Officially licensed RGD caseless slagger rounds are designed to melt into slag upon acceleration, ensuring maximum damage to soft, unarmored targets while minimizing the likelihood of overpenetration of soft targets or accidental penetration of your vessel's hull. Alrighty, that's good. That's good. Don't want to expose myself to vacuum of space. In case of armored targets, company procedure is to aim for the eyes and or faceplate and or camera or other structure analogous to... Analogous to... The hell? Computer, there's nothing else in here with me, is there? Right? Yes, Axel. You are alone in your quarters. Just you. Okay. Actually, Axel, whether or not a non-physical entity such as myself can truly be present with you within the room depends largely on your definition of present. Though, I suppose, in a sense, that I am. Yeah, I guess that does depend on my definition of, uh, in the room, but I'm really talking about things that should be moving so that I could see them. You are the only significant living biological entity in your quarters, Axel. Ugh. You're sure? You're absolutely sure. I am 100% certain that you are alone, except for my own philosophically dubious presence. Okay. Okay, moving on. Um, in case of armored targets, company procedure is to aim for the eyes, faceplate, camera, visual sensory organs in order to inhibit sight as much as possible. Company policy is not to use this opportunity to retrieve higher-powered weapons of any sort from armories or weapons lockers, except in the event of potentially grievous loss of company cargo or non-living assets, or in case of militant incursion by a rival corporate entity. Dear God, that's a thing that can happen. Oh, man. Okay. Remember... A breached hull is everyone's problem, but inconveniencing a hostile, armored entity in such a manner is not worth the risk involved. After all, everyone's problem is your problem, too. I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, um... <laughs> um... Uh... 
Computer? You're sure there's nothing else in here with me? Officer Axel, unless you have spontaneously developed the remarkable ability to see an abundant microfauna that live on you and your surroundings, which are, for clarity, much too small for you to see with the unaided eye, then there is nothing aside from yourself that could be living within your quarters. Uh, okay. Um, helpful tip. Even if your target is fully protected in a hard case vacuum suit, you can still neutralize them by covering their faceplate or helmet visor with slag. The melted slag will cool and solidify, forming a layer of opaque metal that will greatly hamper vision, allowing you to subdue the target or escape. <laughs> what? What the fu- Is this for real? <laughs> Is this for real, computer? Company bylaws assign severe penalties to the forgery and distribution of illegitimate corporate field manuals for any reason. To be extremely clear, the forgery and distribution of such manuals are considered especially heinous. So... As I was saying, Axel, yes, this field manual is indeed for real. Not only would producing and distributing a fake manual carry level 2 capital penalties, but what you have read also matches the manual that is stored in my database. Oh, okay. So, computer, for reference, being shot out of the airlock would be a penalty for... That would be a level 9 capital offense. Uh-huh. And as the number decreases, the severity of the crime... Increases? Increases. Yes, Officer Axel. Uh, all right. That seems off. You know what? Um, that's, that's just enough of that for now. I'm going to just not read anymore. Uh, I'm going to take some time to digest all of that information. I wonder if all of that freaked me out before when, you know, I could remember stuff. Or was it... Normal. Huh. Doesn't matter now, I guess. Um, anyway, uh... Computer, you're sure? There's nothing else in here? I cannot overstate my certainty on the matter. Officer Axel, is something wrong? It's nothing. I just keep thinking I'm seeing something. Uh... It doesn't matter. Um, anyway, I guess that's that's all I'm really going to record for now. That's uh, that's a pretty good stopping point, right? No, absolutely terrible. Oh well, I'm I'm done there. I'm done. Uh, security officer Axel Rottelheimer of the RGD Pillar of Salt signing off. Uh, computer, stop recording. Thank you for listening to the Pillar of Salt podcast with me, Cody Hilson, as the voice of security officer Axel Rottelheimer, Josiah Savage as the voice of the shipboard computer, and, of course, original score by the excellent Josiah Savage and audio mixing by the invaluable Michelle Fuller. If you enjoyed the show, please leave us a review letting us know, and keep an eye out for our first full episode, which is set to release in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, you can follow our Facebook group, RGD Pillar of Salt, for updates and announcements about the show. Want to verify that your field manual matches the one in the computer's database? Head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash pillar of salt. Our patrons get access to exclusive content like concept art, episode transcripts, and even early access to new episodes. That's right, you can be the first to hear our very first full episode by joining our crew over at Patreon. Additionally, if we can reach our first stretch goal of $50 of support per episode, we will produce a full-length PDF of your standard-issue RGD Security Equipment Kit and you for all the world to enjoy. See you around the ship, and remember to read all posted warnings and instructions before operating any piece of equipment aboard the Pillar of Salt. <laughs>